Hello, this is Tobin Nichols and I'm coming to you from Remainders Creative Use at 787 East Washington Boulevard in Pasadena, California. And today we're going to talk about bean bags. In fact, we're going to make a bean bag right here in our video. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is our bean bag kit, which can be purchased at Remainders for $5. It has everything you need in it to make six bean bags, except the beans. You have to supply your own beans. What it comes with is an array of fabrics, enough to make six bean bags. It comes with a spool of thread, a thimble so you don't poke your finger, and a needle. It also comes with a piece of fabric that you can use to practice before you make your, your bean bags, and the instructions. This is what we're going to make today. It's a little bean bag. Uh, the one thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to supply your own beans. We don't supply the beans. And today, we're, instead of beans, we're going to use these little beads that I found here at Remainders. So our bean bag is full of beans and beads. Uh, so basically, it's really easy to make. The first thing you have to do is choose two pieces of fabric that you like and you think go together. So you can see that I chose, for this one, I chose this one and, oh, oh and this one. So to start with, you have to make sure that you face the two tops of the fabric towards each other because you're going to sew them together and then invert them. So you see out there, I've got the sort of lighter side of each one of them. They're facing each other. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to sew the three edges together. So you can see I've pinned, pinned it down. We should finish pinning it. You just want to pin it in place. So there, I've got it pinned on three sides. You want to make sure you leave one side open because that's where you're going to put your beans. Get it open. So you see, I've got one side open and three sides pinned. And then you're just going to sew around the edge. So that you can sew up three of the sides. So once you've got all three sides sewn up, like so, and you've left a little opening on one end so you can insert your beans, you see I've sewn partially into the fourth side just to leave a little bit of opening because that way it'll be easier to close up later. So once you've done that, you can take out your pins and put them back in our pin dog. Pin dog and I are very good friends. And you've got what sort of looks like a bit of a pillowcase because it's inside out. So what you need to do now is put it right side out. <laughs> Instead of inside out, it has to go right side out. So you just reach in through the hole you made and sort of stuff everything through it. So once you've got the little bean bag turned right side out, it'll look something like this. You can sort of push the corners in to make sure that it's all turned inside out or right side out as it were and you'll have what sort of looks like a pillow with no stuffing in it and we've kept the inside open so that we can put our beans in and you see that it's sort of like naturally folded together because we didn't sew it but because everything else is sewn together it sort of naturally folds. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not but that's what we're going to sew together later. So now we're going to take our beans, or in this case, some little wooden beads that we have here at Remainders, and we're going to stuff them into the bean bag. You want to put in just enough so that it's not too full and that it won't sew up and closed, and you want to just leave a little bit of room inside. So essentially you're just packing these into the bean bag. Until you get it, you see like it's starting to fill up a little bit. And this can be a fun thing for little kids to do. You can have them count while they do it, count how many beans go in it. It's a nice sort of activity 
in addition to the beanbag being a fun activity. It's a side activity, you might call it. All right, so we can see we're still getting about, it's about halfway full. It's about where the beans go, or the beads in this case. And we're gonna get it nice and full, but not too full. All right, this is my last one. You can see now we've got, it's a little bit, it's not quite full, it goes up to there. If you squish them together, it goes up to there. But once we've got it sewn together, it'll be, it'll be, you know, like that. It'll be sort of something you can toss around. So let's go ahead and sew this together. Get my needle and thread. And so the way this has folded itself in is where we're gonna just sew a little line right across there so that it just seals up this end. So I'm just going to go really close to the top and try to make it inconspicuous. And you sort of pull it tight as you sew across. You don't want your beans to come out. Just make it a really easy stitch. You could do this with your machine too if you wanted to. If you don't like hand sewing, it's not my favorite. But it also doesn't take very much time because we're making a really small little bean bag. And there we have it. And there's our bean bag ready to be tossed or thrown or juggled. You can find this, our beanbag kit, and lots of other kits at Remainders Creative Reuse at 787 East Washington Boulevard in Pasadena. Uh, you can also find us on the internet. Uh, it is www.remainderspass.org. That's www.rem a I N D E R S P A S dot org. And if you have any questions, you can also call us. If you have questions about these kits or you want to find out if we have them in stock, you can call us at the store. We're open Wednesday through Saturday from 10 to 6. And the number is 626 529 5014. Again, that's here in Pasadena. Remainders Creative Reuse, 787 East Washington Boulevard. You can get the beanbag kit, which is really easy to make, has enough stuff for six beanbags, and comes with everything you need except the beans. And you can call us anytime if you have questions. The kit looks like this, and it's in a special kit section in the front of the store. Just ask anybody if you can't find it. Thanks a lot, we hope to see you, and I hope you make some fun beanbags. Bye.